two days at the coffee shop pretty long hours i just noticed my left eye is twitching i don't feel stressed i just feel like there's a lot of change coming i've been working a lot i have quite a few things planned this week but today and tomorrow i have off days my mom's coming this weekend that was a surprise she told me yesterday she was thinking about it and i'm so excited because i can spend my last weekend in la with her hi jake hey. hi Hi, Cooper. Wait, are you taking care of both dogs? Yeah. Okay, sorry. My neighbor Martin came to say hello. But where was, what was I saying? I don't even know. Did I tell you I'm going to Hawaii next week? I don't know. And then coming back here and then going to training. I have this last week in LA. I have a lot of fun things this week besides work. I'm going to dinner with some friends tomorrow. I'm going to Don't Worry Darling on Thursday night, the premiere night. I'm so excited. I will definitely be vlogging this week. I might just throw this all in one vlog. This week, just having fun, but also getting prepped and ready. I'm really sad to be leaving this place, but I'm going to come back at the end of it, so it's not like a goodbye, it's I'll see you later. I received my onboarding email yesterday, which is so exciting, because now I can finally start to like plan. I'm studying right now, I'm creating a Quizlet of terms that I want to be familiar with. I'm feeling excited, I'm starting my like prep list of stuff I need to bring and buy and like, I want to bring an espresso machine because you know I'm I can't not have my coffee but yeah I'm getting excited for everything I just want to enjoy this week in LA yeah that's all I have for you okay I just got home from a few errands I got some highlighters I feel like I'm back to school shopping flashcards and this cute little notebook this is gonna be my official flight attendant notebook i'm someone that has to write everything down and we got those i got this cute sweater vest i've just been collecting business attire and i thought this is so cute with like a long sleeve under and some pants i couldn't pass it up i'm also just so excited for fall I went to trader joe's i'm addicted to plantain chips porcelain cheese i think like Two favorite snacks of all time cheese and crackers and plantain chips and then from target chicken broth some detangling spray i'm gonna try this gluten-free flour blend i'm not gluten-free but i'm gluten sensitive so i try to avoid it if possible and that looks like decent milk you know just the normal stuff but yeah i think i'm gonna turn a show on and make some din din and i'm watching the bachelor finale at eight so i will check in with you guys later i am so happy you're back so it's many hours later i what did i do went for a walk i filmed some clips of that um it was a great walk up until this lady pulled over and was like hey just want to tell you there's a crazy man up there i was thankfully almost on my street so i scurried home 
there's my toast. Um, my dinner was delicious, did some laundry, and then I watched The Bachelorette. The finale was very entertaining. I love having two bachelorettes because it's like double the drama. Tomorrow, I don't have much planned. I'm going to dinner. I think I'm just gonna be studying. My hand hurts. I just took so many notes. There's like three different sections that we have to study. And so I'm going through all of it and taking all the notes and there's like little quizzes along the way. Um, but yeah, I've got JC. Murray on the screen and I'm going to go to bed soon. Hi, good morning. It is the next day. Could not sleep for the life of me last night. It was like 3 a.m. and it could have been 10 p.m. for all I know. Like I was not tired at all. I need to get on a better sleep schedule. But yeah, so I slept in a little bit. I'm actually feeling okay, like not too tired. I don't know what is going on. And my eye has been twitching for like three days now and I don't feel stressed. Like I have been studying a ton and doing a lot and I don't know what it is, but I just like feel out of it. But I think once I get through this week, I don't know why this week is going by so slow. And I'm just antsy for my mom to come this weekend. And then I am going to Hawaii on Monday. Once I'm in Hawaii, I'm gonna be like relaxed and zen and with my best friend and like, it's gonna be so good. So just a lot of things, but I studied this morning. Then my wrist hurts from writing. I don't know if you know, but I did gymnastics my whole life and literally have the worst wrist problems. Like I'm in pain right now moving my wrist around. So right now my friend Courtney's coming into town. So excited to see her. We're gonna go for a walk. There's this place that I drive past on my way to work every day and it's like the cutest neighborhood. I think it's like Ross Moore and Six, but then like up from there, there's like a whole country club park thing. So we're gonna go walk, hang out with her, get outside, get some fresh air. I feel like that's been the best thing for my mental health. Hi guys, I was totally off my vlog game today. I went for like a three mile walk with my friend Courtney. We walked through the cutest little neighborhoods and we're just like in awe of every single house. I snapped a couple pictures, but it was just like good to catch up with her and hang out, take it all in. I've been really needing to get outside lately and just like breathe. I got ready. Um, I'm feeling cute. This hair is just like, it's taken me through the roof with confidence. This is like the first time in, it's about to be two years. Yeah, oh my gosh. Two years ago, I was in chemo at this time. So first time in two years that I'm really feeling my hair. This is my little fit. I'm just wearing a little Skims bra. Zara blazer. I think these are nasty gal pants. Just some little kitten heels. We're going to pizza and I thought that I would look and feel cute because you never know if you're gonna see Timothy Chalamet out on the streets in LA. But yeah, let's go. Hi, good morning. It is the next day and I am now realizing that I did not vlog last night. I took some cute pics of my outfit, which I will put here. I felt really pretty. When I feel good about my like hair and makeup outfit, I just like extra appreciate it just because I haven't felt pretty for a really, really long time. Went to dinner, we got pizza. It was good. It wasn't my favorite pizza place ever. You know when you try a new place and you just don't know? The gluten, like I just need to remember sometimes that I am gluten intolerant and it affects my tummy. Honestly, feeling really laggy today. My period's coming. Yeah, I actually met with my TV producers this morning and it was so good to see them. We were just talking about future things and stuff, which was very exciting. Yeah, if you're new here and you you haven't seen my show it's called love cam on survivor net tv but yeah i was telling them about all my future things going on and whatnot but it was really good to see them i got rick's juice if you are in the silver lake area you have to go to rick's juice the golden nugget tangerine juice is actually insane it's like out of this world currently 111 angel numbers i love to see that literally look at that taylor my roommate and I always see angel numbers. But yeah, so I'm doing laundry right now. I'll probably have to do one more load before I leave, but my mom will be here. So I'm going to finish my last third of studying. I can show you I've got like some flashcards I'm doing, like Kansas City, MCI. I'm getting better. I think I've got all the airport codes memorized. So many notes. But yeah, I've been trying to be very organized. Like look, I even had to like, like we were learning about the airplane and so I traced it. <laughs> had to write all the different parts. Trying to be as prepared as possible because I feel like the more prepared I am going into it, the easier that it'll be. Yeah, but tonight, I will vlog. I will literally bring my camera because I'm not gonna let myself not vlog, but we're going to see Don't Worry Darling. We're going to the AMC Americana, which is like the cutest movie theater ever. Baghdad will always be my number one. If you know Portland movie theaters, Baghdad will always be number one. We're gonna see Don't Worry Darling. I'm honestly, 
Like, I feel like I'm going into it like I went into see no, no idea what to expect. But the cast is beautiful. All the drama, I love it. I saw a video of Olivia Wilde at Harry's last Madison Garden show last night. So they are still together. I don't know. She actually lives in my area, which is the craziest thing ever. Like, I think she lives in Los Feliz. But I'm so excited. I will definitely debrief after. I already give some people the ick from Harry Styles, which I didn't even know was physically, humanly possible. I will check in later. I hope my laundry machine makes it through my heavy laundry. Bye! <laughs> Don't worry, darling time. We're in our comfy fit. We're gonna go to 7-Eleven first and get snacks. That's how we do it. just got back from the movie it was crazy i really enjoyed it my friend gabby described it as an episode of black mirror which i feel like was really accurate i really liked it the whole audience of this theater was like i think they knew all the tea going on because they were like in it it's honestly the first time that like harry spoke people just like laughed because i don't know it's just funny to see him on the screen i don't know i really liked it it was entertaining all the way through the wardrobes were insane like so good i liked the whole concept miss flo was amazing i liked it i'm so glad i saw it in theater i'm going to bed i'm tired good morning guys it is 9 a.m let's go to the coffee shop Okay, it's time to go pick up the mom from the airport. Let's go. <laughs> Microphone on the wall, I'm upset. 